Welcome back to the John Roberts Gaming Channel. This is John Roberts, and you are watching the fourth episode of my match with Tabletop Buddy Lee. But before you do that, please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe, and do all those wonderful things that you do. So like I said, Lee versus John Roberts, episode four. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Soviet Union round eight. Just three infantry. Yes, we saved the IPC. Perhaps it'll be uh, one IPC that allows us to buy one more land unit next round. Okay. This will be a short one. I don't see the point in trying to get an infantry at the cost of an infantry. No, sir. So non-combat, we need to take two of these infantry and place them here. And that's good. Mobilize our three units. Let's see what the Germans have in store for us. UK round eight. So we'll see what Germany. One AA gun, one tank, 14 infantry. He's buying lots of units. All right, he took Libya. Got France, no units lost. Moved the bomber to Poland. Egypt. Anglo-Egypt. Five fighters to Germany. Karelia, Baltic. Belarusia, one infantry to Belarusia, five infantry to Baltic states, one infantry to Ukraine. Put the anti-aircraft in Karelia. One tank, nine infantry in Germany, three infantry in Italy, and one infantry to Caucasus. So if we count this up, he's got nine, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen defenders in Germany. Five of them are fighters, but we have lots of fighters. With the United States, I can come in with 10, 11, 18, 19 if you count bombardment. So that's more than he even has here. So now with the UK, we can bring in 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 if we count the two cruisers as one. So I think that might be a good little strafe. And I think we can one two punch him here. The defense of his capital is actually weak here. So I think that's going to be the move. I guess we can get a tank. I like that better. Six infantry, two artillery. Okay, let's light him up. Okay, we're gonna have to uh, take Caucasus as well, so hopefully this goes well. May the Dice Gods be with us. So unfortunately, I had a misclick and lost an additional fighter, but um, I think the purpose was served here. Even if we get below average odds, I think this is a pretty good one. I also forgot to bring in the two cruisers. That was kind of silly. 
bring it all into five. Pull the fighter out of here. We're gonna pull out of West Russia and just turtle up. I don't want to leave that there. Looks good. Just mobilize our eight units into UK. And let's see what Japan has in store for us. Just looking it over, it looks like Japan can get one bomber into Germany. So I like it. Let's see it, Japan. We're at USA round eight, so we'll go over Japan. Who bought six infantry, three tanks, and three artillery. In Madagascar, they took. They took uh, Persia. One infantry to Karelia. One infantry to Archangel. One infantry to Vologda. One infantry to Novosibirsk. Uh, Sinkiang, three infantry to Anwei, three infantry to Szechuan, one anti-aircraft artillery to Persia, two destroyers to C-Zone 48, Battleship, C-Zone 61, Battleship, C-Zone 35, move the bomber into Germany, move these units into Avenki, that's kind of interesting. Yunnan is landing point. Three infantry to India, three tanks to Manchuria, and all the rest on Japan. So the USA, here we are. Oh, it was, so unfortunately when I was counting this, uh, I had France, and I, I should have taken Northwest uh, Europe with the British. I might have gotten a hit or two less, but I would have been able to bring all these fighters. So now we have to do this assault on Berlin without all of these fighters, so hopefully it works out. But first, let's take care of this. Alright, 10 infantry, 1 artillery, 1 fighter. Okay, let's do it. So everything in this battle is all about the curve. So as you can tell, I gotta go for the long shot here. So let's do it. Unlikely, I'm hoping that the curve works in our favor. I don't know what to say about that. Um, it would have been nice if I had hit more than one unit per round. I will say that uh, my losing this game is at this point 80% dice from the very beginning of this game. It's very disheartening. Alright, let's load up some of these transports. Keep half of these back, bring this fighter to Canada, uh, get out of West Russia. Mobilize units all out of Eastern USA. Alright, let's send it over to the Soviet Union. Alright, Soviet Union. Just get three infantry. Let's make a few trades. Okay. May the dice gods be with us.
Okay, so we got four out of six. I guess we can't really complain about that. So we'll get everything into Russia. Of course, now these 14 tanks can make it through. So that's very uh, nice. Thank you, Dice Gods. Um, I guess I still do need to block it, however. These, these British units down here. All right. Put our three units in Russia and see what Germany's got in store for us. UK round nine. What happened with Germany? 10 infantry, one bomber and a fighter. Okay. So I know I lost the three transports up here. That was a mistake. I don't even know what I was thinking. Okay, got the three transports. So the United States held on. Defenders lost seven infantry and Germany retreated to Karelia. So he reduced his numbers even more at the expense of the United States. So uh, I like that. I actually like that. I failed in Belarusia. Lost three infantry there. Took West Russia and took Algeria. So one bomber to Karelia. Uh, put some units in Germany. Put some units in Poland. One infantry to Ukraine. One anti-aircraft artillery to Baltic. Three infantry to Anglo-Egypt. And one infantry to Egypt. Fighter and six infantry in Germany. One bomber and two infantry in Italy. And two infantry in Karelia. So, uh, like I said, I think we have to pull this fleet out of here. What's in C Zone 5? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them are Americans. 6, 7, hmm. So the UK has four transports, but unfortunately can only purchase six units. I think I'm going to use these units to help stack Kazakh. Okay, so we're definitely pulling this fleet. Take what we can. So we'll take Northwest Europe and France. Perhaps we can get Ukraine. You know what? We can we can actually use two. Okay. May the dice gods be with us. And the fighter in Moscow. Let's get all these units into Moscow. The tanks. Oh. You know what? We don't need to leave any infantry behind, do we? No, we don't. Fleet up season eight. Hmm. That's everybody. Double and triple check. I don't see anybody else. Okay, all the units out in UK. It's our only industrial complex. And we'll see what Japan has in store for us. USA, round nine. Let's investigate. Two tanks, five infantry, one bomber, two artilleries. Okay, he took Caucasus. Took Vologda. Lost an infantry in Vologda. Took Novosibirsk, lost an infantry there, and took Kazakh. No units lost. Moved uh, some units to Sinkiang. He's got 
these 10 tanks here. Okay, three infantry to Venki. The units to Sheshwan. Anti-aircraft to Kazak. Three infantry to Persia. Moved an artillery to Transjordan. This fleet is here in Cecil 34. This little contingent down here in 37. Two destroyers to Cecil 49. All right, uh, sent one infantry to the Sudan. One transport to 51. Puts them in range of uh, Honolulu. Keep an eye on that. And moved some units to Yunnan. Okay, mobilize these units. India, Japan, Manchuria. So the United States, not seeing many attacks that the United States can conduct. All right, well, we need a new transport. We lost, we need two new transports. We lost some transports. And do we need land units for them? No, we don't. We have plenty of land units. I'm gonna get a destroyer, help defend against this aircraft. And he may decide to purchase more aircraft. So we'll have to see. I will purchase more aircraft, two fighters. Okay. No combat move. So we move right to con non combat. We'll fill up these transports with some infantry. We'll send them to France. This fleet needs to come out to C Zone 8 so that these transports can get to C Zone 8 so that they can eventually come back and pick something up. I blundered the taking of Germany in that when I calculated it, I occupied France and all the fighters were able to reach France, but there was still a chance of taking Germany and it just did not happen. Thus, all of these units are out of position. All right, we'll send this fighter over to C-Zone 8 and this fighter does not have a landing point. Just sent it to Canada. And what did we get? Two transports? So we we'll want to leave behind three of you. So we'll move seven. So there's four here. Well, I guess we have five. Yeah, no, there's enough. We don't need to move these at all. Let's just leave them here. Whatever can pick them up can pick them up. There's plenty of infantry in Canada. Enough for five transports, and that's what I have is five transports. Okay. Let's mobilize our units. Two transports, one destroyer, two fighters. Let's send it over to the Soviet Union. Okay, Soviet Union. So let's, so what I'm looking at is, I wanna get you, but it's not imperative to get you. So we'll just use one. I wanna get you because you have a uh, artillery. It's more important to take you. So this, we definitely want. All right, so for these two, let's get an artillery. How about two artillery? And then these two can have a fighter each. What does that look like? Favorable in Caucasus. Strong in West Russia, strong in Kazakh. Caucasus. I definitely want to get Caucasus. So let's give Caucasus two infantry. So we don't need to count this up. This is well defended. So may the dice gods be with us. Alright, so those worked out perfectly. 
the aircraft back in to Moscow we're in a semi turtle he gave us an opportunity to kind of push back a bit so we will all right mobilize all the units in Moscow can see what the Germans have in store for us it is now UK round 10 and it is time to look over Germany's round 10 13 infantry to artillery he's pumping out plenty of land units all right tank boats Belarusia and took West Russia lost three infantry there Northwest Europe he lost an infantry there Finland lost an infantry there took Ukraine he destroyed two infantry and did not lose any infantry France he destroyed 11 infantry and one artillery and lost 11 infantry doing it that is excellent that is excellent we do not need to profit with the Germans with the UK and the United States at least in my opinion I'm not looking to profit I'm looking to take IPCs from them and that's 33 of them right there so Germany's non-combat moves All right, some more units to Karelia. Some units to Germany. One bomber to Poland. Uh, some units to Italy. Two infantry to Libya. A battleship to 15. And these units to Egypt. They put out two infantry in Karelia. Mobilized two artillery and eight infantry in Germany and three infantry into Italy. So the United Kingdom no, no longer controls India. We don't need to produce anything out of India. And this, he has nine units that could hit C-Zone 8. We're kind of balling up both. Logistically, uh, things are out of position for me because of my assault on Berlin. Very, very unlucky dice. I had a very bad opening round in this game, and then I had a uh, you know, 90% chance on Germany go horribly wrong. And it's left me in this position where now I have no transports this round coming back to Europe. So that's unfortunate. But what do we have in C-Zone 8? 14 hit points in C-Zone 8, and he can come in with 9. It's not really something I could split up. What we do want is 8 land units. And that's perfect. Six infantry and two artillery. All right, this artillery and these five infantry. Two into Northwest, one into France. Yes, one to both. Seems fair. Let's see about using some of these British forces. We only have one fighter. But we can make use of the firepower we have sitting here that isn't Soviet. So that looks like everything. May the dice gods be with us. Okay, success, success. We actually took Archangel, which is nice. All right, fighter. Let's get this submarine out of here, out of range of those destroyers. See zone 41. We look over everything one more time to make it a double and triple check. I think that is everybody. All right, so that looks good. All units out of UK. 
And let's see what Japan's got in store for us. USA round 10. Let's go over Japan. 9 infantry, 3 tanks, 1 destroyers. Took Western Australia. Took Caucasus, lost an infantry doing it. Took Kazak, lost an infantry doing that. Took Archangel, with no units lost, destroyed one infantry. Okay, he moved uh, a Japanese contingent up here into uh, C Zone 15 to join uh, with this German contingent and make this uh, little multinational fleet. I think the best bet is for the US and the United Kingdom to continue uh, collaborating. I'm probably going to purchase a couple of submarines, maybe another destroyer or something. Alright, moved an artillery to Egypt. Stacked up uh, Sinkang here. He's got a lot of tanks here. Four infantry to uh, Avenki. I put these units in Sheshwan. Put three infantry into Persia. Okay, battleship and destroyer to 46. One destroyer to 34. One infantry to Anwei. couple of units to Persia, transported from Persia. A couple of units in New Guinea, obviously to uh, go after Honolulu. And he mobilized three tanks in Manchuria, three infantry in India, six infantry in Japan, and one destroyer out of Sea Zone 60. So the United States has been kept lame the past two rounds. Last round and now this round they have nothing uh, transported to Europe or Africa. We have eight transports here. That's 16. And we have two transports back here. That's four. Do it that way. We can have 12 transports. That works. That works. And we can purchase four units for that. We'll do half. We have plenty of infantry. And we can keep pumping out fighters. The problem is we can't get fighters to Moscow, can we? Also, I want uh, subs, don't I? I forgot about that. Let's see. So let's, let's get one transport. We don't need two transports. Reduce these numbers. I'm gonna have to take back Iceland. All right, well, we'll think about that later. Let's get some subs. Two of them, and another destroyer, and then we can get a fighter. All right, that works. How's that? Just get one of everything. When you're not sure, just buy one of everything. All right, all we can do is prepare. So non-combat, bring a fighter over to England. Destroyer and these two transports are gonna go up to 10. All of these infantry will go up to 10. These two fighters, these eight inf infantry, these eight transports. See zone 10? So I have 10 transports here. I probably will use eight of them you know, I don't want to be in a situation where all my transports are in C Zone 10 one round and then in C Zone 8 the next round. I want to stagger them a little better than that. So after a double, I do a triple check and I don't see any other units that I can even move. Alright, one infantry and one artillery in Eastern USA. Two subs in C Zone 11, a transport in C Zone 11, destroyer, and then a fighter in Eastern USA. Okay, let's send it over to Soviet Union. So that's episode four of our match with Lee. So if you're enjoying these videos, show your support and like, share, and subscribe. Do all those wonderful things that you do. Please join us for episode 5 of Lee vs. John Roberts. 
And as always, thank you for watching.